Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see another workload modeling. So in fact, this was one of the questions that's been asked uh, three weeks ago, exactly. And the question is, uh, the interviewer has asked a question, um, which is, uh, I have to achieve 3000 transactions per hour with 60 transactions in one script and I have uh, 30 seconds uh, for each iteration. So for so the thing is like I have 60 transactions and each uh, trans iteration takes 30 seconds. So uh, the expectation is uh, we need to know the pacing for this uh, uh, scenario. So in this video, I'll show you how to uh, explain uh, how to uh, extract the value or how to determine the uh, total time required to achieve the throughput and how much time to uh, for the total number of iterations required per hour and uh, how to determine the pacing between iterations so yeah now let's let's see the video and before that uh, this is me Austin Shanmugam. i welcome you all to our little Sla youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, like you all know uh, i'm conducting uh, a training a performance testing uh, through load owner training on september 14th and 15th so if you are interested to learn about uh, different protocols like web the api the sap and even the chatbot uh, performance testing um, from end to end so if you're interested to learn all these uh, please do enroll for my uh, for the training i will share you the details in the link and if you all if you are interested you can join the whatsapp channel as well where i'm uh, sharing a lot of information so please do join my whatsapp channel and don't forget to register for the load runner training and uh, yeah with no further delays let's go to the uh, scenario the solution so first let me um, uh, tell you the question so the question the first question is like the transactions per hour which is the the, the very common tph and that is 3000 so for every hour I will achieve 3000 transactions or I will be able to achieve 3000 transactions every hour and then the next one is the total number of transactions in the script and that is 60 so I have 60 transactions in this script so which means I have for example like transaction 1 transaction 2 so this way I have 60 transactions right so I am just uh, uh, taking you through so that it will be easy for you to understand so now I have 60 transactions and the next part is the duration for each iteration it takes 30 seconds so that means to iterate or to execute all these transactions once execute all, execute all these transactions once i take just 30 seconds i can show you this way let me remove the duplicate sorry i haven't noticed it Okay, so let me do this way. Um, yep, I think I got that now. So yeah, I have 60 transactions and like I told you, it take 30 seconds for each iteration, right? and uh, coming back here merchant center so like i told you so it takes 30 seconds sorry uh, merchant center yeah so to iterate to uh, complete all these transactions once it takes 30 seconds so each iteration takes 30 seconds 
to complete all the 60 transactions. Now let's go to the second part. So the first part, we completed, we determined the total time required to achieve the throughput, right? And then the second part, the second step is, we are going to calculate the total number of iterations required per hour because here we have given um, the transactions per hour that TPH is like 3000. So how many iterations we are going to achieve? So to, to know the iterations per hour, I have the total transactions per hour and then the divided by Okay, let me do this way. Transactions per hour divided by transactions per iteration. So we know um, the transactions per hour here, it is 3000 divided by transactions per iteration is 60. So far, okay. So why do I do 3000 by 60 is I need to achieve 3000 transactions per hour, right? And I have 60 transactions. So uh, when I iterate uh, six, I mean, I have 60 uh, transactions and when I iterate 50 times, right? So when I iterate 50 times, I will be able to achieve 3000 transactions because I have 60 transactions, right? So when I have 60 transactions, when I iterate it 50 times, I will be able to achieve the 3000 TPH, 3000 transactions per hour. So hope you understand this point. So let me reiterate it. So I have, I need to achieve 3000 transactions per hour and the total number of transactions is 60. So when I divide it, I get 50. So let, let me tell you this way. So uh, just imagine I have 60 I have uh, 60 transactions and then I have, um, I can iterate uh, 50 times. So when I, I uh, when I have 60 transactions and when I can iterate it 50 times, I'll be able to achieve 3000 uh, transactions per hour, right? So hope you achieve this, uh, hope you understand this point. So I'm just trying to uh, uh, play with the numbers. So that's the thing. So here, what I'm trying to say is, I, I know how much transactions I need to achieve uh, for every hour and I know how many transactions I have. So I'm trying to find how many iterations I have to do to achieve the uh, number of transactions per hour, right? So uh, let me remove this one. I don't want to confuse you. So the total iterations per hour is I have, uh, I have to iterate 50 times for an hour, that's it. So now the third part is we are going to determine the pacing, right? going to determine the pacing between the iterations because this is not think time just uh, remember again this is pacing because pacing comes in between the uh, iterations think time comes in between the transactions we all know and the pacing comes in between the iterations so now we will see how uh, how to determine the pacing and uh, coming back to this uh, uh, rule of finding the pacing we have um, totally 3600 seconds, right, for one hour. So that's TPH. And then how many iterations per hour are we going to iterate? So iterations per hour. So let me give you here, so equals 3600 seconds divided by 50. Because we know we have 3600 seconds and we are going to iterate 50 times. So we have got 72 seconds. So the pacing should be 72 seconds between the start of each iteration because we know that each duration will take 30 seconds. Right? So now what I did is to find the pacing, I'm dividing the 3600 seconds, which is the total transaction per hour and the iterations per hour. So uh, dividing 3600 seconds, which is the uh, total transactions, uh, total duration for an hour and dividing it by iterations per hour. So which is, um, let me write it here. 
So this is going to be 3600 seconds of one hour divided by 50 iterations. So now you can see I have got 72 pacing, 72 seconds as the pacing. So now if I add the 30 seconds for each iteration plus 72 seconds, which sums up to 102. So will this be able or will this allow us to reach our uh, like this this is the amount of time so the, the total time for each iteration is going to be 102 because as they mentioned as 30 seconds for uh, 30 seconds for each iteration the duration for each iteration and then when i say the pacing is 72 so which is totally which totally sums up to 72 so now what happens is the number of iterations per hour right so there are uh, that's okay. Let, let's come up with the iteration. So now I have 3600 uh, seconds and when I divide it with 102 seconds per iteration, I'll be able to achieve. So let me show you. So 3600 seconds divided by 102 where I get 35.29 uh, iterations per hour, but I need to achieve more iterations to reach the uh, just imagine so we need to achieve 50 iterations right but here if i'm adding uh, the duration for each iteration along with the pacing which i have got i'll be able to achieve only 35 iterations so i need to again uh, match another 50 iterations so what i have to do is so again uh, coming back to this part where uh, so since i said i, I was able to achieve 35.29 uh, transactions multiplied by 60 uh, which is the uh, number of transactions for each iteration so so what is this this is the iteration and this is the transaction right so what i'll be able to achieve is 35.29 multiplied by 60 i'll be able to achieve only 2117 transactions so i i just need to match up another close to 800 to 900 transactions so what is the solution for this so what's the correct pacing for this is let me again come back because some of the time sometimes we used to miss some values and that will uh, take us to the wrong way so let me take you to the right uh, example so this is how we normally start doing it and then we come up with the wrong number so we need 3000 transactions per hour right and then each iteration has 60 transactions which we all know so equal to 3000 transactions divided by 60 transactions per hour which is 58 iterations per hour and then the time available per iteration including the pacing so i'm including the pacing which we found so including the pacing is 3600 seconds divided by 50 iterations so which is 72 seconds per iteration which is the number which you already got so now that this is the key point so since the iteration itself takes 30 seconds the pacing will be the pacing will be 72 which is the seconds that we got between iterations minus 30 which is the total time which is taken to uh, perform one iteration which is going to be 72 minus 30 is 42 so 42 seconds is the right amount of pacing so let, let me come up again back to the original point so i have 30 seconds right so let me bring this way 30 seconds of uh, time which takes for the total iteration for one iteration 30 seconds for one iteration plus 42 amount of pacing which is 72 so now dividing 3600 which is the total transactions per hour 3600 divided by 72 for each iteration i'll be getting 50 iterations so when i get 50 iterations 50 iterations multiplied by 50 uh, iterations multiplied by 60 uh, 50 uh, sorry yeah, uh, 50 iterations 
multiplied multiplied by 60 transactions i'll be able to achieve 3000 transactions per hour right hope you understand it now so usually we used to take up uh, come up with the pacing but the point is we have to that i mean the pacing that we uh, have uh, come up is addition of the uh, it should it should sum up the transactions duration as well the transactions think time the transactions execution time as well so please do ensure that you are not missing it because sometimes we do miss it and the interviewer will have the answer with him so please make sure you are coming up with the right solution the reason why i took the other way is this is the common mistake which we all do so please do avoid this mistake and also always come up with the right answer and this is, i don't say this is the wrong way but this is another way to come up with the answer uh, to, uh, to know how, how to achieve the right answer. So always have a paper, try practicing it, and then you'll be able to understand it. And then uh, with that, I come to an end, and I definitely believe this video will be very useful to you. So uh, please do enroll to my uh, Loadrunner training that's happening on September 14th and 15th, and that'll be, uh, you'll, you'll learn a lot of knowledge, and we have other people as well who, is, who are joining the uh, training sessions. So yeah, with that I come to an end and I definitely believe this video would be very useful to you. So until I meet you in my next video, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and your favorite little slide tip channel. Take care and bye-bye.